The Houston Arrows are winners. A unique blend of youth and experience has brought Houston two world championships, the winningest team in the history of the World Hockey Association. Symbolic of that winning tradition is one of Houston's intense young competitors, Ron Graham. Ron is the winningest goaltender in the WHA. The past two seasons, he has won more games and frustrated more opposition forwards with his alert style and quick glove hand. Wayne Rutledge, the dancing bear, he knows the shooters in the WHA. He is an angle player who gives the opposition little to shoot at. Every year since joining the league, Rutledge has been one of the top five in goals against average. A tremendous team man who inspires and encourages with his fine play and vocal cheerleading when he is on the bench. Good goaltending means good defense, and defense is Larry Hale's game. There is no way of knowing how many shots Larry has blocked in his career with Houston. During this time as an arrow, Hale has scored only nine goals, but Larry's job is defense, and at work on the ice, there are few in his class. Two-time All-Star Paul Pupio, like Hale, is one of Houston's veteran players. Two seasons ago, Paul was second in the league's balloting for a defenseman of the year. He's adept not only at stopping enemy puck handlers, but also at handling the puck himself. Arrows coach Bill Deneen says there isn't a better defenseman to have in charge of the puck in power play or shorthanded situation. John Shella, an all-star himself, is Popeil's partner on the blue line. Tremendous strength is one of John's greatest assets. It allows John to control the opposition in front of his own net and really put it to them in the corners. John will challenge anyone and few, if any, retaliate. Marty Howe, the third of the Arrows All-Star defensemen, is the youngest Houston defender and probably the most improved. Larry Hale's influence has helped make Marty one of the league's steadiest performers. For the past two seasons, he has been on the ice for 86 more Houston goals than opposition goals. Marty scored 14 times himself last year, high among Houston defensemen. Glenn Irwin, another young defenseman with good strength and defense on his mind. Glenn gives Houston good depth behind the blue line. A hard hitter, Irwin lets you know he's around. Veteran Larry Lund returns at center for another campaign as an arrow. There may not be a better face-off man in professional hockey. He is both strong and clever. During his years at Houston, Larry's alertness on the ice has contributed heavily to the arrow's success and particularly to the tremendous arrow's power play. Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe needs no introduction. Gordy lent his experience to the center position last year, and over the last half of the season, no one was hotter than Gordy. His leadership and experience helped push Houston to another Western Division championship and the AFCO Trophy Finals as he enjoyed one of his finest scoring seasons in 28 years of professional hockey. Larry Lund and Gordy Howe are the voices of experience. Terry Raskowski is the shout of exuberance. This young center knows only one speed, all out. An exciting hockey player, Terry will go around, over, and at times through the opposition to get the job done. He was the leading scorer for the Arrows in last year's playoffs. At right wing, veteran Murray Hall has provided steady leadership for the younger Arrow right wingers. Hall has been with Houston since the beginning, and few players have been more versatile. Besides taking a regular shift, Hall has seen duty on the power play and as a penalty killer. To date, no Arrow has scored as many game winners as Murray Hall. Frank Hughes is one of the deadliest shots on the Arrow squad. In fact, no one has scored more goals than Hughes in the history of the Arrows. Twice Frankie has notched over 40 goals in a season, the only Arrow to accomplish that feat. Rich Preston relies as much on his strength as his speed. Indeed, there may not be a stronger player on the Houston roster. In the corners, he is almost unbeatable. Rich is a complete hockey player who will not only score his share of goals, but be in position to prevent the opposition from scoring. Don the Dart Laraway is in many ways a creative young artist at work exploring his talents and learning from his experience. Tremendously talented and rapidly improving, this young man illustrates how much the future of the Arrows is in good hands. Jan Popeil was an all-around handyman for Coach Bill Deneen this past season. He played left and right wing and with his competitive drive stirred things up for the Arrows when they couldn't seem to get things going. 
Left wing is anchored by Captain Ted Taylor. He is the only captain the Arrows have ever had. Ted is a stern and steady influence on and off the ice. Teddy not only takes his regular shift, but also is one of the best penalty killers in the league. The leader every championship club must have. Left winger Andre Hines enjoys unparalleled success when it comes to being a pest in front of enemy nets. He is a tough, quick competitor with great instinct and anticipation. The Hines, Hughes, and Lund combination has become one of the most feared in the World Hockey Association. Andre Hines has been an intricate part of that success. John Tonto Tonelli is 6 feet, 1 inch, 190 pounds, and can you imagine, still growing. He can play both center and wing where he can put his great forechecking ability to work. At 19 years old, John possesses two important qualities, an instinct for leadership on the ice and a dogmatic intensity for the game. Mark Howe has fulfilled all expectations. He possesses one of the deadliest wrist shots in the league, and his great speed makes him next to impossible to stop on a breakaway. A totally accomplished player, Mark typifies the excitement on the ice, which is Houston Arrows hockey. The great speed and contact of this game, plus the keen competitive edge of its participants, set the stage for an occasional disagreement. Hockey has developed its own unique form of arbitration. The World Hockey Association, a league full of all-star performers from the greatest players of all time to the brightest young talent in the game today. Winnipeg's Bobby Hull with 838 career goals is the second leading scorer of all time. This past season, Hull whipped 53 goals into enemy nets and led the Jets to the after World Trophy symbolic of WHA supremacy. There may not be a more exciting hockey player around than the Golden Jet, Bobby Hall. One of the league's most exciting young players is Quebec's Real Buddy Cloutier. In last year's All-Star Game, he scored the hat trick and earned the Most Valuable Player Award. In only his second season as a pro, he scored 60 goals and finished number three in the league scoring. Phoenix's Robbie Fatorik also waited until his second year in the majors to make his move, but Fatorik was a bit more of a surprise. He spent part of his rookie season in the minors, but came back in year two to lead the young Roadrunners to another playoff finish and came in fifth in the league's scoring race. Success has become routine to San Diego center Andre Lacroix, 
He's called the magician, partly because of the magic way he handles the puck, and partly because of the way it keeps disappearing behind enemy goaltenders. Twice, Lacroix has led the league in scoring, and in the 1974-75 season, he had a phenomenal 106 assists. Birmingham's Big M, Frank Mahovlich, is one of only three players to score more than 700 goals in his Major League career. Once the big left winger gains momentum, he is virtually unstoppable. The classic stylus, Frank is truly one of the all-time greats. Consider this. Tom Webster of New England played only 55 games, but still managed 33 goals and 50 assists. With a healthy Tom Webster, the Whalers hope to return to their customary first-place finish in the East. If New England is cursing its luck at losing Webster for so much of the season, Calgary must be silently giving thanks that Danny Lawson was always around. The versatile Lawson scored 44 goals for the Cowboys last season and helped push Calgary into the playoffs after an absence of two years. Rene Leclerc of Indianapolis helped the Racers to the East Division title last season. Flying Frenchman scored 18 goals in 40 games for the defense-minded Racers and won the hearts of a lot of new hockey fans. Down the stretch last year, there wasn't anybody better than Houston's Gordy Howe. In the Arrows' last 35 games, he scored 20 goals and assisted on 35 others. Hockey's greatest all-time scorer continues to amaze both fans and experts. His love for his game still strong, Gordy Howe is truly the greatest hockey player of all time. Good coaching cannot be overemphasized. However, at times experience is the best teacher, and some lessons are best learned the hard way. Japan Mashiro broken dreams and more than a couple of falls and in chasing what I thought were moonbeams I have run into a couple of walls but in looking back at the places I've been and the changes that I've left behind I just look at myself to find in the hard way every time Cause I've had my share of good intentions And i made my share of mistakes And I've learned at times it's best to bend Cause if you don't, well, those are the breaks Should have listened to all the things I was told But I was young and too proud at the time now I look at myself and find In a hard way every time But in looking back at yeah, the lessons I've learned From the mountains I wanted to climb In the hard way every time Cause I've had my share of broken dreams And more than a couple to fall And in chasing what I thought were moonbeams I have run into a couple of walls But in looking back at the faces I've been I would sure be the first one to say When I look at myself done it any other way
winning of two world championships brings not only its glory, but a responsibility to perform, to once again reach that height. The Arrows have started their own tradition, led by a legend and determined to be a legend. Bill Deneen, mastermind of the Arrows' past success, feels the future is quite clear. You know, I feel uh, right today that, that we have the best young talent of any club in hockey. Uh, I really feel that. And that's in our youth, uh, in the likes of Mark and Marty Howe, goaltending and Ron Graham, uh, the Ruskowskis, Laraways, Prestons, Tonellis, Lukowitz. These type of hockey players are going to make us a very competitive hockey club and hopefully a winner uh, next season and the end of seasons to come. Of course, uh, Gordy, Gordy is uh, the prime example. He can play defense and I suppose if you really asked him, he'd go in goal for you. He came to the conclusion that he knew my secret and that was just sheer love of the game. Happiness and having fun is saying arrows.